and letting letting the horses ignore us because when this happens they are not going to be happy either they're going to be uncomfortable also and then the longer it goes on the bigger the aid is going to have to be in order to make sense so when we when the horses miss the small cues then we need to make a bigger cue to get their attention but if we ign really just ignore okay i asked and and they ignored and i asked and they ignored and i asked and they ignored by the six seven time you're going to have to be really loud so you want to be really prompt know what you want before you give the aid and then be very very clear with yourself did your horse change that's the important thing or did you change to make yourself feel better that everything is fine so we want to be careful about that and sometimes if you are asking for instance for the horse to slow down and the neck still feels a little bit stiff but the legs slow down that's good that is the proper response the the suppling in the neck is going to be the next step because the horse understands what the reins mean so be careful that we don't ask for absolutely everything to be perfect especially in the warm-up but that we get those basic communications going can i go slower can i go faster bigger smaller can i turn can i stop these things that is going to turn into throughness because of the understanding but it will not turn into throughness if the only thing you care about is where the neck is but then you can't stop and steer so we've got to be really careful about that so now we're going to get 